Hi, I'm Phil Constantine. On this edition of Travels with Phil, we're going to go, well, sort of going to Houston back in the 70s. I used to be a radio talk show host and a program producer in Houston in the 70s, and one of the people that we did an interview with was Rich Little. Now, for a lot of you folks, you may not have heard of Rich Little, but he was the premier impersonator of uh, that era. He's still around at the time that I recorded this, but he was absolutely dead on with probably 50, 60, 70 different people and pretty good on a lot of other folks. And he was the premier, again, impersonator in the United States. And my experience with Rich Little is that he was on a radio program that I produced in Houston for KULF Radio with Dan Lucas. And he was doing something in the town, and we had him on the phone to talk with us. And he told some really, really great stories while he was there. And after the show, I got him to record some intros for our show and did some funny stuff. He did a promo for our show as Richard Nixon saying, Call in Houston tonight. I can guarantee the lines aren't bugged which is pretty funny in the 70s with Watergate. But one of the stories that he told uh, is really one of my favorite. Now, my uh, former in-laws had a connection with uh, John Wayne, the actor. And so I knew, you know, knew a little bit about him. And obviously, as a person of my age, I know a whole lot about his uh, history in the American movies. Well, we asked Rich Little, did you know you ever have an occasion where you did an imitation of somebody and, you know, you were sort of afraid of, you know, what they were going to think about it? And he told us that, well, you know, some people would think it would be the presidents. And he said, but because I don't really do, you know, really political stuff, you know, all of my uh, uh, humor, and he did humors and impersonations, all of his humor was really good natured. And he said that was never a problem. He said, but the one person that always worried me was John Wayne. Because he said, you know, I used to joke about his name because his name at birth was Marion Morrison. So I would occasionally do a little joke about, you know, the big rugged cowboy guy named Marion. Well, uh, so I said, well, you know, we said, you know, well, Rich, what happened? You know, where, did you ever get a chance to meet him? Well, Rich had a summer show and he filmed it at the NBC studios out in Burbank, California. And he didn't realize it, but John Wayne was there filming a uh, guest spot on a Bob Hope special. And so Rich Little was going from wherever it was, you know, he was going from the cafeteria over to the studios where he recorded. And as he's walking along, he sees John Wayne off in the distance and he sees him coming toward him and he's going to himself. And this is how the, this is how uh, Rich Little tells the story. He says, well, you know, geez, I mean, this guy is like, you know, six foot 10, weighs, you know, 200 some odd pounds. I'm afraid he's going to get upset with me. He said, so I just didn't really want to talk to him. So Rich says, he, as he's walking down in this way, and he continues to see John Wayne coming toward him, he just sort of puts his head down, and you know he hopes that John Wayne will, you know, not notice him or not recognize him. So he's walking along like this. Now, I'm not an impersonator. I do a couple of impressions, but uh, I'm not that great at John Wayne. But I'm going to do this as John Wayne. So uh, Rich Little says, so I'm walking along with my head down, sort of walking. He said, and all of a sudden I hear this voice, "Hey yo," and I just keep walking along. He says, "Hey yo." Is that you, Rich Little? And he says, Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Well, come here. He says, Oh, God. So Rich Little says, Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. He always going to get me. He's going to get me. So I said, Yes, yes, sir, Mr. Wayne. Whatever you want, Mr. Wayne. So Rich says, He walks over to Mr. Wayne, looks at him, and says, So that's you, Rich Little, right? And he says, yeah, yeah, Yes, sir, that's me. He says, And you do those impressions or those impersonations of me? And Rich Little says, Yes, sir, I do. And he says, all right, I want you to do something for me. And Rich Little says, oh, great. What, okay, whatever you want, Mr. Wayne, I'll be happy to do it. So John Wayne looked at Rich Little and said, I want you to do that walk again for me. I think I'm losing it. <laughs> And I like it. So if you've ever seen John Wayne, he does have that sort of sideways twisted around kind of walk when he's uh, going across the scene. And uh, that really came out of nowhere. So I really enjoyed that joke. Uh, Rich Little has always been a great impersonator. And at the time of the recording of this in 2021, he was still around. John Wayne, unfortunately, is no longer around. Actually, the connection my uh, in-laws had with him, they were uh, one of my uncle-in-laws, I guess, for lack of a better term, was in business with him, and uh, when uh, uh, the uh, both of them passed away, uh, they gave away a lot of the possessions that they had in the business offices. So for a while there, my living room furniture used to be John Wayne's office furniture. So, Travels with Phil, back to you.
Thank you very much for watching this video. Please feel free to make comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And if you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the circle with my picture in it in the lower right hand corner of the video. The arrow is pointing at it now. And once you have subscribed, you can be notified of when I have a new video posted by clicking on the bell icon in the description field below the video. Thanks again for watching. He did a promo for Houston for tonight.